Oh, hi. I'm Doug Smith, doing one of my experiments here. Come on over. I think you'll find it interesting. We have a couple of uh, Australian cockatiel birds, so if it begins to sound like the Amazon jungle here, uh, you'll know why. Hopefully they'll be quiet while we're doing our experiment. So I have three items here. I've got a microprocessor development board, and you can hear it uh, making its little sound. I've got a wire loop that you can find all over my website, www.dsmith.org, made out of stiff wire. And I've got a Fisher TG-EFT pulse generator set for 250 volts open circuit. It produces a, a pulse with a fast rise time and a slow fall. And through the mutual inductance of the loop, that generates a single positive or negative pulse in the circuit. The loop always receives a positive pulse, so the center pin of the BNC that would be positive here to negative there, and that's the polarity and voltage induced into the circuit. So I've previously scanned this board with this loop, and I found a sensitive area, and watch this. I'm going to come right down into here. Ah, do you see that? It's resetting the board every time the pulse generator pulses. I've got it set about one pulse per second now. It'll go a lot faster than that. Let's try that again. Reset. Notice that if I reverse the loop, it does not reset. Only with this polarity. Well, that's positive to negative. There's the reset button, and I believe there's a pull-up out there. So I'm taking positive, and I'm forcing a negative voltage. I'm pulling it low as far as that ship is concerned. And as you can see, when I get in there, um, I can uh, reset the thing uh, with every pulse of the generator. This is a very handy way to find uh, problems on boards. Now let me flip the board over here. Yeah, you can keep that uh, camera there. Um, here we are. Here's the bottom of the board. And this is a little hard to see, but it's a two-layer board. The bottom is mostly ground, but that reset lead comes out about where my f the end of my finger is and crosses this break in the ground plane, which forms a little loop in the ground return path for that signal and helps make this more of a problem. Now, this board is sensitive to ESD. If I do an ESD event up in the air, a foot or two above this board, it will radiate down and reset the board, just as I did. Uh, the trouble normally with finding a problem like that is, where do I start? And this method gives you a, uh, a starting point. It, it narrows down where you need to look at. So, uh, that sort of wraps up this experiment. It's a very simple experiment. And uh, I really enjoyed having you around for our experiment. And uh, thank you very much for stopping in. You can see demonstrations like this one in Doug's public classes at Oxford University, his private seminars at clients' companies, and at other venues. Doug's website is www.dsmith.org. That's www.dsmith.org.